Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 semi-final or round of four, whichever you prefer. If you guys prefer round of four, let me know. But it's too late thus far. I've already labeled these videos. See what you did instead of giving me the proper feedback. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe you did. And in the future, I'm going to eat my words. Bottom left hand corner, we got range starting as that mustard yellow. Protoss, bottom right hand corner, we got... <coughs> for a second, I'm not sure why I couldn't spit out Protoss there. Bottom right hand corner, we got Zazu starting as the green Zerg. This is on Apocalypse. And I'm going to say that if Zazu does more of the same, I could see it being even more effective on this map. Because Apocalypse, going to click the right natural expansion here, has no ramp. No ramp. And a pretty sizable choke. So considering the success he's had in game one, game two, I feel like game the, the last match, Zazu just found the perfect window when just caught ranged uh, teching a little bit too hard and was really able to punish it. And it seems like sitting on that 27 drone count up into the mid game and abusing that is just something he excels at. Reminds me a bit of Rancor, although Rancor adjacent, I'll say. This hat is really doing phenomenal with it. Looks like there's an, a very quick initial scout. Probe's sitting here, so I think this is going to be a forge opener this time. And we see the initial spawning pool. If I was ranged, I just would not risk it. I think it, he knows I would play extremely, extremely safe and just go for flat macro. He's had a lot of success with the drops that he's been able to sneak out into the field. So I would just go with that. And let's see if he looks like he's going to go ahead and try to create some interruption here. I would just hide this probe, honestly, and maybe go for a turnaround. Cannon rush, given the opportunity. So probe sneaking its way around. We don't have an additional probe at the natural. He's moving in to, to make sure that the zerglings get constructed. So that's going to finish. Additional probe kind of wandering his way out. Is he going to go for... Looks like he's going to go for Nexus before cannons again. So again, playing a little bit risky. Although... Only seeing the two Zerglings. Going to cycle back. That's additional two Zerglings tacked on. And are we going to see the full six? There is no gas, so this isn't with Zergling speed. We are going to have the Photon Cannon behind it. Range wants to double... Ooh! Probe gets caught on that corner, so now he's not going to see the complement of six all the way. So should drop another cannon to be safe, but instead he's going to go ahead and wander that probe out. He's been playing very risky. With this, it looks like a hatchery grab extractor as well. Gateway out on the front. This is still a gap here to the north. North. North gap. No pylon or anything else as of yet to create the blockade. No second cannon. The Zerglings actually dedicating to that probe. And taking out that probe makes range has got to make range feel very, very uncomfortable. Great job thus far. Shaking off those Zerglings. Two additional Zerglings. Almost meeting at the ramp. Some nice micro there by range. Gas is up. Pile at the main. Natural expansion. Transition. Second cannon being dropped just in case. And I think that's wise at this stage. Rather than risking anything else, he hasn't been able to confirm whether additional Zerglings have been produced. And I wouldn't put anything past Zazu at this stage. Zazu going for a two-hatch play this time. He is setting up that drone to go ahead and grab a third top right. And I'm wondering if this is going to turn into three hatch mutalisk. At which point we could have we potentially could see the full spread of openers from Zazu. So drone currently waiting top right, going ahead and dropping that hatchery now before really saturating a lot of these additional bases. Two cannons are there. A couple probes lately being lazy on the line. Cybernetic score whooping in as well. Looks like I missed... No, that Zergling got the kill. But they're going to go ahead and approach the front just to test it. We do have those... With those two cannons, not a lot of threat. And range being extra, extra careful with this. I don't think that's a gap this time. Just to make sure that there's no way. And two Zerglings lose their lives for the effort right there. Why? Second gas coming online. Which leads you to believe, yeah, this is I, this is looking like two Hatch Mutalisk to me. There's the Spire. Or sorry, three hatch mutalisk. Stargate being constructed. This could be dangerous for range because keep in mind, Zazu's done a pretty good job of examining what range has been up to and exploiting the weaknesses. 
So I would not be shocked if ranged ops to go for the initial overlord kill in the main and neglects to scout. He might presume that it is a Hydralisk follow-up once again, at which point he might not have the defensive cannon in the main or at his natural expansion to contend. Some zealots marching out, finding lack of resistance right there. So Spire, about halfway finished. We are getting a Photon Cannon along the Nexus. But no Photon Cannon at the Natural and that second Assimilator being built. So this this will be interesting. We'll have to see how it plays out. Zealots marching out. They're going to go... So checking for Creep at the 6 o'clock. Find nothing. That would be a crazy, cheesy play. I think they just are going to... Let's see if they move out and go for... Yeah, this, this is presuming kind of the standard Hydralisk. And a, approaching nothing here. This could be dangerous. So now we've got... Fleet of Mutalisk, we are seeing the Scourge alongside, which means we're going to need a cannon alongside here at the main. And this initial Corsair and its work are, is going to be extremely, extremely important. The Zelt's pressing in. Are the Zerglings going to swing around? Ranged actually with these Zealots might force these Mutalisks to engage at the 3 o'clock. Actually, I think he is. He's going to force these Mutalisks to engage at the 3 o'clock. He's going to see them spawning. Which, first of all, the Zealots have done their job. They've managed to create a bit of an economic gap right there. I don't think they've gotten any drone kills. But just with three Zealots, he gets the scout. That buys time to get that cannon down at the natural and get sufficient Corsairs up otherwise. Plus one weapons immediately queued up. So nice play there from range this time. Single Zealot there. Looks like he got two drones top right in the meantime as well. Although he's taking a little bit of a beating. That might have been some Zergling kills. Finally going to be cleared out. Double Stargate follow-up from ranged. Wow, with the plus one weapon. So he's really not kidding about the air control. But this is off three hatcheries rather than the standard six. And we have a Hydralisk then being plopped down. To transition back to Hydralisk. Zazu moving a lot of his fleet towards the natural expansion. There are four cannons here to greet him. And there's already a pretty healthy Corsair count to engage this. So able to get a probe right there. He's He has not cloaked in the Scourge. The Scourge are on delay. Range being very, very patient and keeping the Corsair in a defensive slot. Getting some initial hits here. The Scourge trying to go caddy corner, but they've been spotted as they're making the way across. But as soon as this... So that's five Corsair. As soon as... This 6th Corsair ooh, and 7th make their way out. We'll see if Zazu has enough counter. Because even with the, a small Hydralist count underneath this, with plus 1 weapons, these Corsair can shred Overlords extremely rapidly. Templar Archives behind, Probe Trapped to allow some better micromanagement out on the front. What this does do is this negates Zealots on the forward field. So if we see uh, Lurker Tech between, it looks like now we're seeing the Hydralisk play. And usually you'll see like 5 hatch Hydralisk, but instead this is 3 hatch, 3 gas. Play overall. And so Zazu might just run into a build order loss. We'll see. Hydralisk taking some additional damage. It looks like ranged waiting. Did I, I don't know that Zazu got a good look at the size of the Corsair count either. Plus 1 weapons on its way to finish. The, Z, the Corsair is making their way out. The Zealot's already preceding them. And this could... The combination of the two... Depending on how it goes, looks like the Zealot's going to take some free damage from those Mutalisks. They need to maybe make their way back and eat some, you know, dodge. And, ooh, this is a lot of Overlords to die already. You can see how quick... So let's count one, two, three, four, and about... Whoa! In about four seconds, Overlords die, which does not give a lot of reaction time. Zazu already in the red. And that's seven Zealots marching out. Versus about equal numbers of Hydralis. Looks like there's a blockade there. And the Hydralis just aren't out in sufficient numbers to help defend this. So this could be a dead hatchery here top right. Corsairs being attacked by the Hydralis underneath. The Hydralis, if they get also distracted by those Corsairs, that could be damaging. And it looks like they're just going to yeah, reposition where the Hydralis aren't. And all of a sudden, Zazu is nearly out of supplies. He's just getting obliterated as far as supply. The raw amount of resources he's lost to this Corsairs have made it well worth his investment. 
good amount of scouting information. It looks like he's just going to camp right here, wait for these three overlords to hatch and go from here. With the lack of counter pressure, range, go ahead and grab his third. Hydro's moving up just in the nick of time as these overlords are spawning. But right now, already, range at double the supply. Do keep in mind, though, that a large amount of that supply is in Corsair. And Zazu does have a, a decently healthy economy, so it's not like he's obliterated as... Is, he's not in dire straits, but not looking good right here. Zealot's able to get in top right again. Might be able to get some additional drone kills. We do have that 6 o'clock base getting grabbed from ranged. Zazu finally able to clear that out. So he's so what is he sitting at? He's got four hatcheries. He's got way too much gas. And we can see that in the resource to gas ratios with that third gas up. Not spending it on heavy gas units. And oh man. Some more overlords going to get peeked at and popped across that corner. Are there any more? No, it looks like they aren't going to get it done at the main. Run, Corsairs, run. So, 6 o'clock base. Going to get established. We got a large amount of Zealots. Good, healthy amount of High Templar. We have Lurker Tech finishing in between this, as well as Overlord Speed, which will make them a little bit more viable as far as defending themselves, which will free up the Hydrisks a bit. They might be able to careen down somewhere here, but range not going to give that opportunity. Starting to move the Zealots mid-map as the High Templar in mid-position as well. Keep in mind, these Corsairs do not attack round. And we haven't seen a silly fleet bleacon, a uh, fleet bleacon, bleacon, a bleak fleet bleak. We haven't seen a fleet beacon to upgrade Corsair disruption web. So they're only there to shield against potential mutilists or take out overlords. But the zealots marching in, this is some good side storm, a lurker behind the lines. Side storm catching a lot of those hydralisks. But the Lurker is chewing up those Zealots. The Zealots marching all the way to the main. The Corsairs and High Templar being left to Psystorm what remains. Ooh. But this, we'll see. I feel like that might have been an overstep by range at the same time. Although this is paying off and he's wreaking a lot of havoc. So we got some Archon wiped out. High Templar is going to get wiped out. They're working on the Spire right this second. I actually think the Spawning Pool might have been a better... Better target right that second. But the drone count still remains at 30, and this is spread across three bases, although we got that six o'clock up. Some Dragoons starting to come into play. I'm a little bit concerned. Well, we'll see. Dark Templar moving forward. Lurker gonna Lurker is starting to move in to get a pseudo contain. And Corsair is looking for any latent overlords that might be out in the field. Do we have the robotics in construction anywhere? The observatory is already there. Some size storm being dropped. No observer as of yet. And the Dragoon's on a miss rally. They're just walking out into that Lurker line, unfortunately. The Corsairs, seeing no Overlord's top right, going to move in. Dark Templar now range is putting on a clinic. So is that Overlord? Yeah, the Overlord's finally moving forward, but they're getting swathed as they come across. Zazu sitting at 27, now going for... So actually, he's moved a lot of his Overlord's to the front. I think some Dragoons got wiped out, but double the supply now for ranged. Three bases, it's his game to lose. And as much as I want to say, like, okay, that's over, this is Zazu, and he's come back from crazy situations before. Has a lot of Hydralisks, but I think it is too little, too late at this stage. As we do have a... We'll have at least a Psy Storm, some Dragoons. It looks like two Psy Storms, some Dragoons, and some additional defense. So finding nothing here at the 6 o'clock... The Corsair is continuing to prowl. How many do we have remaining? Six? All the Overlords actually sitting on the front right this second. Wonder if the Dragoons are going to find them. Another base being grabbed by range at the 9 o'clock. The Dragoons finally pressing forward to wipe out those Lurkers. Hydral's pecking away as they can. The Corsair is still being frustrating top right. Which has got to give Zazu pause for thought in case any Dark Templar make their way out. I'm wondering if we're going to see some shuttle play as well. Overlords showing themselves a little bit. The Corsairs starting to sweep their way back. And actually a pincer attack from ranged here. If he moved up and dropped some Psy Storms, that would be all of uh, a bunch of dead supply once again. 
And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Walking into that side storm, just getting blanketed. And yeah, the overlords now. A couple of Corsairs getting picked off, but that's more overlords dying. 40 supply. There's GG from Zazu. And ranged has evened it up 2 2. So we're going to go into a final sudden death match, game five. Look forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.